It might be a quiet and empty neighborhood for now, but the excitement down Sapling Lane speaks volumes. It's almost like you surprise your kids and say, hey, we're going to go to Walt Disney World. While it's no trip to an amusement park, Sierra and Tobias are giving their three kids something else to put a smile on their faces. Welcome to our home. They're weeks away from moving into their first home. I'm going to charge my phone right here. Sierra Nance was looking for volunteer opportunities with Habitat Humanity when she came across an application for home buyers. Habitat and First Bank were offering to help 35 families move into a new affordable housing community, Ellen's Glen, named after Knoxville's Habitat founder. Our team sat down and, and said, where, where can we help? In Knox County, a lot of people don't realize the crisis that we are facing. <laughs> we are providing an opportunity for them to get out of that cycle where they are having to decide whether they pay for their prescription medications or pay their rental. These are three to five bedroom homes with a garage and full size backyard. It's kind of like a home house, like a legacy. So something that we can just pass down to them and they can pass down to their children. So instead of helping someone else build a home, Nance wound up working with volunteers to build her own. Well, oh worth yes, definitely, definitely worth it. I wouldn't trade this but nothing in the world. Building excitement. <laughs> this is my first house. For new beginnings. And I know my mama and my daddy worked hard on this, and I like it. In Knox County, Gwendolyn Ducree, WVLT News. And part of the Habitat for Humanity program is people who are getting homes are putting a lot of sweat equity alongside volunteers to build those homes. The program also helps families budget their mortgage. Applications for the next set of homes are expected to go live next year.